We have here a 2022 Bianche Ultra XR4 in a size 54. This is custom painted with power meter pedals. Garmin mounts weigh at 16 pounds, 11 ounces, and in kilos, 7.58 kilos. Stay tuned to after video with our free up bias contest on the Zip 303 Firecrest wheels. Hey everybody, GC Performance here back with another video. And today I have for you guys this beautiful Bianche Ultra XR4 in a rim brake model. This is a super light flagship race bike that they offered in a rim brake. In today's video, we're gonna talk about should they still be offering rim brake bikes in a top tier spec like this. As you can see, we have a bunch of modern components on here. SRAM Red Axis 12 speed, uh, Zip 303 Firecrest and rim brake as well. Um, ceramic speed decked out. And this is a full arrow cockpit as well with some exposed cables. And I'm not gonna lie, building this and servicing this, like I had to put another space on here. It was very, very easy and kind of uh kind of a breath of fresh air to go ahead and just pop on that headset and go ahead and remove spacers without having to redo brake lines and everything this is very minimal cables for a full wireless set so in today's video we're going to do a full talk about that uh again this is a custom paint job on this bianchi and i think it came out beautiful um and also i want to know right now down in the comment section below what do you think guys looks better this ultra xr4 or the new bianchi that they just released the the, the ultra ultimate with uh, the integrated cockpit, the disc brake going, the handlebar snapping bike. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a classic race bike. I believe they made this in rim brake and disc brake. Uh, and this bike does look like Bianchi's old classic race bike. They took this, which is their top tier bike that they offered, and they turned it into a crazy integrated full on race machine now. But uh, when you think of Bianchi, this is the bike that comes to mind for me. And obviously in Celeste colors, but this is what he chose to do in the different color job. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So over the years, we've seen a lot of the bikes industries go from a rim brake model to a disc brake model. Uh, there's only a few bikes out there left or manufacturers out there left that offer a rim brake in the top tier or, any, or in any kind of spec at all. Uh, Bianchi uh, was, was one of them. And now I think that their new bike they just released only comes in disc brake. But a lot of consumers like this for the main reason of this was again, a rim brake option. Uh, you can get this in rim brake or disc brake. You can get whatever components you want. You can get this in here if you wanted to. You can get a Durace 11 speed and a rim brake option. You can still get top tier spec wheels like Zip 303, 404. Um, you can get Princeton's built up in rim brake. You can get a bunch of different options on there. So is the industry losing out because a lot of customers are still on that rim brake frat or maybe they are on a rim brake bike now and they're intimidated to go to a disc brake bike. I mean, obviously they wanna push for the cheapest way possible to go. So they wanna push everyone to a disc brake mold. So it's, it's very easy to go ahead and submit orders. And there's no confusion when consumers go into a store to buy a bike to ponder about if I should go rim brake or disc brake. But I still do like the options. We, especially here in South Florida, we're really, really slow to go about to the disc brake fad for road bikes because of the fact that it was so, they're so flat here. There was no need for it. I love the ease of going ahead and changing out my headset bearings as easy as possible, swapping out wheels, adjusting my brakes if there was a little bit of rub. It was very simple back then, except for the Venge bias, which I hated, <laughs> the, the rim brakes on there. But yes, it was very easy, and it took me a while even to go from a rim brake bike to a disc brake bike until basically Specialized didn't offer any more bikes, and the bike I wanted had disc brakes. So, uh, like I mentioned, Bianchi has it. Giant, I still think, offers a TCR on the top tier bike. Pinarello Dogma F still comes in a rim brake, which is very, very um, crazy to me. I believe Colnago offers their bike in the, uh, not the C68, but I think the C64, they still have it in a, a rim brake model. A lot of the Italian guys still have those rim brake bikes, um, but you very rarely see the rim brakes on the top tier bikes. So this brings me to my point. There's not a lot of bikes out there anymore that are in that rim brake category. So it almost seems like the industry is strong holding these people to go to it. Obviously, as a consumer, I would love to see options in every single top tier bike, and even middle of the road bike as well, to have the choice for consumers to choose. But sometimes it's just not that logistics to make that option. Um, but that's why we're seeing more and more boutique brands pop up, or especially even the China brands pop up, where they're still offering rim brake, which that's stealing a lot of those, uh, those, those consumers out there from that consumer base. So there is still a marketplace for it. I still get questions about it all day. They offer a ton of components still out there for it. You're seeing more and more groups that pop up new and newer that are offering a rim brake option. 
I do like this paint on this Ultra XR4. I do think that the rim brake option for this bike is absolutely beautiful. And uh, it was a breath of fresh air to go ahead and work on this bike. It was very simple. Even the direct mount brakes on here are very nice. You just SRAM direct mount brakes. And yeah, you have a little bit of exposed cable here and here. It is okay. Now I will say this, the disc brake option was a great choice for me when I went to California and some big hills. I preferred it. I'm not used to hills. I like the safety of it. They felt good to me. Um, especially when it was raining over here, sometimes I do like the, the disc brake model, but you see more and more pros, especially on TTs or even on uh, climbing stages, they do prefer that rim brake because they don't want the drag. They wanna make sure they have um, a super lightweight bike and there is a weight difference for rim brakes as well. But uh, yeah, I definitely think that there, I definitely think, I always make it as a joke, but I think in four to five years, you will see a company come out like a Specialized, like a Trek, say limited edition, super light release of a rim brake only bike will have all their components on there. And I'm sure they'll sell it like crazy because consumers miss it. So it's nostalgic, but this bike is definitely what the Bianchi race bikes look like. And uh, when you think of Bianchi, you think of their Ultra XR4 and it's an absolute beautiful bike. So I'll do a quick rundown of this bike and then we'll be good to go. So he did go from the all black model. He had this paint in all black. He went to a white model and then he kind of went to like this BMW M3 or kind of like this black, red and, and blue. The paint scheme looks really beautiful in person and uh, I am a big fan of it. So for the handlebars on here, he has the Vision One Piece Bar and Stem combination and the carbon fiber with these headset spaces right here and the FSA. Uh, the cables are ran underneath the bar, come down here and then they pop out right here where they need to be. They do include with this an out front Garmin mount right here, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and attach any kind of Garmin with a flashlight on there as well. The tape that he chose to go with is this physique, kind of like this suede or velvety feeling tape. It feels very nice to the touch. Um, I'm sure once you get it sweaty, you might get a little bit slippery on there, but it is very nice. Also, another big bonus to this is that this is the rim brake hood. So it's much sleeker and looks, in my opinion, it looks much more better. I do like the look of it. And also it changes the ergonomics of the hood shape a little bit more and it makes it a little bit easier to grab. Uh, you have SRAM red shifters, 12 gears in the rear, two in the front, and it's full electronic, which is very nice. SRAM 900 brakes, direct mount front and rear with carbon fiber brake pads. And then you do have a top tier wheel like the Zip 303 Firecrest wheel set on here uh, that are still, like I said, a beautiful wheel set to have. And also with the quick releases, because it does have that little quick release through axle on there or the quick release axle on there, it is lighter. For the tires on here, we have a Continental 5000 STRs and a 28C. This bike is still a rim brake model, so it can still take up to a wide tire on there, which is very nice. Usually you see rim brakes having a much narrower tire on there but this can go ahead and take that up to it, which is a nice uh, ode to the bike. For the tubes he has in there, the Ride Now, the TPU tubes, super lightweight tubes, they're 30 grams compared to a Butyl tube, which is 100 grams. Uh, that is a great way to shed weight. I'm a big fan of those tubes myself. You have the classic down tube shape on the Ultra XR4. This bottom bracket is a press fit bottom bracket, it's a BB86. We do have ceramic speed bearings inside of there. And then for the crank, it is a SRAM red crank with uh, Favero Asimov power meter pedals, 50 tooth chain ring, 37 on the bottom, SRAM red front derailleur with a SRAM red 12 speed chain. And going to the back, we have a SRAM red rear cassette, 1026 tooth cassette on here because it is Florida and super flat with a SRAM red 12 speed axis rear derailleur with the ceramic speed OSPW, super fast, super fly. You guys want to see this bike once we get a free body on here. It's very fast. Same wheel in the rear as the front, the 303 Firecrest, which is our nice wheels with the same ride now tubes as well, the TPU tubes and same tire width. And we can see we have a ton of tire clearance here in the back, probably in fit up to a 30. Rim brakes, the area where you wanna check for tire rub is usually at the bottom. Top, they usually always have clearance. And same here with the direct mount brake, we have a SRAM 900. No cable rub here on the outside of the housing. And then for their seat posts, they have their own uh, proprietary integrated wedge with their own seat post carbon fiber on there as well. This is a Physique saddle. This is the Versus Evo full carbon fiber, carbon fiber rails, carbon fiber body. Very nice saddle to go ahead and match with the whole build on the bike. But that's gonna do it for you guys. Let me know what you guys think down below. Should manufacturers still make a rim brake option in top tier to mid tier to even entry level tier bikes? You let me know down below. Thank you guys. Welcome to an event. <laughs> All right, here comes free up by a sound test of the Zip 303 Firecrest wheel. Ceramic speed OSPW and ceramic speed bottom bracket. Here we go. Mm. Oh. 
unlimited speed, unlimited power. It keeps pushing, dog. There we go. Bye.